Okay, what we're doing today is I just want to show you how you can quick uh, drag and drop something into a proposal. So we've got our proposal here. We've got two pages of SAM. Now they want the reps and certs. I went ahead and I already saved the reps and certs as JPEGs. So um, in this section, it's got to go. And you see that there's a section break here going into the next section. So I want to make sure my cursor's up here. And I know that this is 14 pages. So I'm going to go ahead and insert 14 pages by command return. Command return gives you this lovely page break. Okay. So in anywhere, we just put, we had one page. We have another page, so we need 12 more pages. So I just go command return 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, we've got 14 pages here. So let's get to the first page where we're going to go ahead and insert something, put the cursor there, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and reduce the size of our page here so we can fit in a finder window. Uh, at the same time, make them all fit all nice and snug. Okay, what have we got here? I've got enough of a window so I can just see what I want to get. So let me show you how to do this. We're on our first page and we want to put all of these JPEGs in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop. All right, now let me, let me go ahead and show you what this did. It went ahead and gave, put it on the page, right? There's no border around it. When I click off of it, you'll see that... You'll see there's no border. And it, it doesn't look presented enough. Um, so we're going to come back to what we're going to do with all of these. Um, but you've got your first page here. And, um, well, let's see. Let's put it in the rest of them and see what they do. All right, so that's one. Two. Just look and make sure that one is after two. So we've got one and two. All right, this seems to be working. We are going to go back through and adjust all of them because presenting good information Presenting information well is, is, is what we really want to do all the time. So we're going to resize some of them. We're going to put some border on them. All right. And this is pretty easy to see where you leave off because of the highlighted. I still do cannot n navigate around Finder without these columns moving me on all the time. So I haven't found the magic touch yet. Oh, man, I lost count on which one we were on. Let's just check. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're on number seven. Put our cursor there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oops. Wrong page. Uh, sometimes if you grab something and you're holding it and you don't and you can't get to where you need to get, just we'll just go ahead and put it back. And then there's no changes. So click into where we're supposed to insert it and then go ahead and do that. All right, number 11. Oh, what is this? Are we out of pages? What's happened? All right, we didn't put enough pages in, and we still have. 12, 13, and 14 to go. Let me just one. All right. Oh, we missed We missed a page. All right. That one goes up there. Okay, one, 
two, three. Ah, we missed another page. In this case, you don't have to move everything around. You can just delete this, and we're going to go ahead and put it back uh, a blank. Oh, so that's why we think we ran out of pages. We just skipped a couple of blank ones. All right, so just to be sure, we've got 14 that we need to insert in this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we've got one through eleven in there, and we only have one more page left, so, so we have eleven. And it's command return 12, 13. Would that work? 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, that'll work. All right, you're making room for them so they, they are on each page. Uh, there is a way that you can also do it, and it creates the page for you, but I'd rather have control over how I insert my pages. All right. Last one, the last page of this section. Okay. Okay. All right, let's just get rid of this window and make this big so we can breathe. All right, let's go back up to the first one that you've inserted. Now, it's sitting on the page because I just put it there, and I'm assuming that it's not um, wrapped how I want it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and just in front of text, since we provided a page for it, it should sit on it and not move around. So these, these um, let me just show you what we have to do to each one of them. Right now it doesn't have a border. You can see a border on it now because that's just the, the boundary line. So um, we want this to be a little bit clearer, uh, a little bit bigger, the print. And we can't really make the page any bigger because it's already taken the size of the page. So what I'm going to do is under your picture format page, which which this ribbon always appears uh, when you go ahead and um, do anything to it with a picture. We're going to crop it. We're going to bring this top one down to about there. We don't want to cut this off because we do want to show them that we took the actual information out of that RFP. Bring the bottom up here and then bring in the sides just a little bit. Just kind of make everything proportionate. This is a little time consuming, but. I think that looks good. And and what, what we can do with it now is we can then move it to the upper portion of the page. See, we don't have to worry about the page break. We can cover that up because remember, this is laying on top. And since there's no um, margin restraints on this, we can go ahead and take the liberty of coming out here a little bit and not having to stay an inch margin. So look at all the room that we have here to then hold down our shift key while we drag to, to save the proportions. And then maybe just put it right in the middle. All right, we're going to top it off uh, by being under the same uh, thing. We've got uh, outline. This is the green that we are using for Ozark. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. The, though the line is so thin, you can't really tell. So I think that looks bigger and much better. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do with the rest of them. Again, let's do one more. We're going to go ahead and crop. Your crop button is here. Bring this down just a little bit so we don't cover up this uh, solicitation number. And then we're going to bring in all the sides proportionate, leaving a decent margin on the image itself. Crop it, put it up as far as I want it to go, and then hold your shift key down to, to restrain, restrain proportions. And then we're going to go ahead and add that green color to that. So looking much better, looking much better. All right, one more. Crop. You can go down. Using the corners, like you see what I just did there, instead of going down, up, over, and over, you can take the corner and go ahead and crop it, you know, always knowing that you, d you didn't want to crop that one portion off at the top. Okay, that looks good. Oh, I, I kept forgetting to in front of text.
We are also going to make this one in front of text. Okay, that one's right. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. And um, when it's done, we're going to go ahead and uh, we have to answer some of these questions. And we're probably just going to lay some X's over them because I do believe the portions are more multiple choice. These are called what's called reps inserts. It's um, swearing to the government that you're not a criminal and that you won't buy uh, roofing shingles from Iran and all the other things that the government want, doesn't want you to do. So thank you for watching. And the next time I have you put a bunch of PDFs in a Word document, mm, this is a really easy way to do it. So cool. All right, then. Have a lovely day.